So, what's up guys? I haven't made a guitar tutorial in like, I don't know, what, four months or something? Three months? I haven't really been keeping track. But, uh, I'm finally back with another one. One of my favorite songs ever. It's called Two Beers In by Free Throw. And it's a pretty sick song. So, um, I'm here to teach you that one. There's no guitar tutorial in this one yet, so I think I'm the first one. But it's a pretty simple song to learn, actually. So, it's mainly like two chords. The only sort of difficult part, I guess, is the riff, but it's also pretty easy to learn. So I'll show you right here. I'm gonna bring the camera closer. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your middle finger and put it on the seventh fret of the E, and then put your index on the sixth fret of the A. And then you're gonna wanna either use your ring or your pinky, whichever one's more comfortable, to touch the ninth fret of the A right here, because this riff is gonna be alternating between the sixth fret and the ninth fret. And then so it starts off like this. Pluck this three times, the fattest string, the E string. Okay? And now after that, pluck the the fret, the ninth fret of the A where your pinky or ring finger is at. Okay, now hit the E again. And then now let go of your ring or pinky, and then it should be the sixth fret making noise. So so far we have one, two, three. So just repeat, repeat that like twice, the you want to repeat that twice, and then, and then after that you're going to be doing the alright, so you should have this by down already. Okay, so once you have that down, what you're going to want to do is pluck the 9th fret of the A, slide to the 11th, and then go back to the 9th the 11th of the E, 9th of the E, 11, and that's it. So it should sound like this. Okay, one more time. And then now, let go of everything. And then just pluck the open E three times. Okay? And once you do have that, you're going to want to put, I recommend your ring finger right here on the 4th. And then your index on the second right here. Ready? Because you're gonna do this. Be the open E string. You're gonna be plucking that three times. And then pluck the the A string right here on the fourth. And then E second of the A. E fourth of the A. E second of the A. Slide up to the sixth, go to the fourth, sixth, and then go to the fourth of the D, and then the sixth, and then the, the um, fourth of the A. And so that second part should sound like this. And then you go back to the sixth or no seventh here and then sixth here and next and then you just re you just play that whole riff two times okay so what i just taught you was the bass riff and they play that twice in the song and basically after that you could just play the verse chords which are going to be a b power chord an e power chord but there's also a guitar doing basically the same thing the bassist is doing that same riff but an octave higher and it sounds like this. Mm. 
Kind of messed up a little bit, but yeah, that's basically what it is. I'll, sh I'll teach you how to do that really quick. So take your ring and your pinky, put it on the fourth of the G and the B, and then your second fret um, is going to be on your index. And you have a triad that sounds like this. Okay, so pluck the G three times, and then go to the high E, G, B, G, E, G, B, and G, E, and then slide up. So if you saw what I did there, just slip from the two to the four, to the two, to the four, to the two, to the four, and then to the two of the B. So now you jump down and put any of your fingers on the D second fret, and then the B second fret, and then so pluck like so three times on D, and then do B, D, and let go of your finger that's on the second, and then just uh, alternate between those for like this. And then slide up to the fourth, to the second, fourth, second of the high E, fourth of the B, and then second of the B. And altogether that should sound like this. So yeah, now it's time to move on to the chorus. So the chorus, you're gonna to wanna to switch on your distortion, right? And then so B power chord. You're gonna be you're gonna strum that ten times. Um, I don't really count it, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I just listen to like the the flow of the song, like the rhythm, and it's like do that again. Slide up to the seventh now, which is a, I'm trying to think here, that's an E power chord, that's an E power chord, and then you strum that one six times, like so, move down to the C sharp, there you go, see I know my note names, I know my chords, but anyway, this is what it's gonna sound like. Wait a little bit. Slide up. And that's it. That's literally the whole song. Okay, scratch what I said. At one minute and 42 seconds, it slightly changes. There's no more pauses in between those power chords and it's just gonna be like, that I hear something and I'm not sure if it's the bassist like messing in my ears or if it really is the guitar doing this but I either hear the index going to the bass bass note right here or an, or the entire power chord shifting upwards and this is what I mean uh, it's, it's either this or it's just uh, just the pink the index moving first one sounds more correct. Uh, if you listen to the song, I think you'll be able to tell what I mean, because uh, it sounds like there's like a drop in the bass, like there's like a different power chord there. It goes to the, the F sharp, this is an F sharp chord. I'm pretty sure that's right, but if not, then just keep playing the B and the E, B and the E without the pauses. But yeah, that's the whole song, guys. Okay, so that's the whole tutorial. I think it's a pretty easy song to learn, definitely good for beginners. and. It's just a great one to rock out to, especially with the chorus. You just you just really wail on this. So I think it makes it a really fun song to play. And hey, if this helped you, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content like this. And you know, maybe you'll find another song that I teach, and then you'll be like, damn, I want to learn that. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you'll say. Okay, see ya. <laughs>